for many for, for many years like you, I watched KCTS Nine Cooks. I was just amazed how many recipes, how many viewers. It just goes on and on and on. As we keep saying, this new this new cookbook, 400 recipes. Now at number 286 recipe of the day. Are you ready? Mina Cleland's with us from the great Kelowna, BC area, which I hear they're doing a wonderful things with wine there. But we're going to uh, see a, a simple recipe, an everyday recipe. It's called quinoa utma. And I'm looking down at, at all the ingredients around here, my <laughs> friend, and trying to figure out, are we doing mm. a breakfast, a lunch, a dinner? Could be everything. It could be everything. everything. Or you're just going to surprise us and we're going to learn something here. Exactly, exactly. So all the ingredients that we need for the dish is already laid out here. Mm -hmm. It looks daunting, but it really is not. It's almost like a stir fry. You really need to have everything ready. And once everything's ready, you just the cooking goes very fast. Mm -hmm. So okay. it's not a time-consuming dish. It's 20 minutes to cook uh, as long as it takes the quinoa to cook. Okay. Very, very fast. Used for many, many uh, purposes. It's, it's breakfast, it can be from South of India they use cream of wheat. I did quinoa for okay. the nutritional value of quinoa and um, uh, you can stuff peppers which I'm going to show you later how to do that. It can be stuffing, it could be a side dish to any meat dish or barbecue or anything like that. It's, wow. it's, it's an amazing versatile dish. I'm ready okay, for so let's get started moments. here. Okay. <laughs> We're going to get started with our, this is the two different lentils. One is urad dal, one is a chana dal. So we're just going to have this um, uh, just brown, just a, a golden, just a little bit crispy, just to give a crispiness it's to the to dish. Yeah, it so, goes very, so very quick. I know that our viewers are going to say, what's dal? It's a lentil. And okay, you get that different from, kinds of lentils. Dal there's about 50 gentle. different kinds right. of lentils. Yeah, and you can get this from an Indian grocer. So once it gets to around this stage, and you can smell them, yeah. yes. and the, this, the this nutty smelling, yeah. this is going to pop. It, and uh, what was that? that this is black in? mustard seed, and they okay. do pop. So, and these are curry leaves. Curry leaves. Yeah. So, so they go next, and you can you can hear you know because they're fresh. Yes. So you can use them fresh or dry, and now our onions and chilies go in there. And what kind of chili did you use today, Mina? I just used. Um, this little chili oh, that I got from a chili. supermarket, yeah. You just kind of chop them up like this. Wow. It's very, fairly simple, just kind of. And if you don't like chili, yeah. don't put any chili. And if you don't like heat, just take the seeds out. Right. That's basically all you need to do. Um, the chili goes next. Right after that, uh, you're just going to have a sweat the onion a little bit, you know, and uh, make them a little bit brown. Um, Okay. Don't have to be overly brown or anything. Just just enough to. And now the this is a pre-washed quinoa. Okay. So is the is it going to say that on the package? Yeah. Pre-washed. The, uh, the packet says pre-washed quinoa. So if it's not pre-washed, you yeah. need to wash it. All right. Quinoa has a bitter outer uh, layer mm -hmm. that gets. Um, it really really important if it's not pre-washed to wash it. Otherwise, kind of like it's going to be. It's like a husk almost. It is. It is, and it's bitter, and so. To save the one step, you can actually, there are plenty of pre-washed quinoa. They come in all pretty colors. Yes, they do. Um, and it, the nutritional value of quinoa is amazing. One cup of cooked quinoa has 8% of uh, complete protein. Wow. And 21% of your daily requirement of, of fiber. Wow. So, I mean, it's a, it's a superfood for a super reason. Food. Yeah. Yep. And then you're adding all these other superfoods to it. Exactly, to just, that. And it yes. just, just bumps up the, the whole uh, the, the dish. So we're just going to put the, the cashews to mm, toast up with cashews. that. Cashews? There are those raw the cashews? They're raw cashews right. and the raw. You can, if you don't like um, um, raisins, mm -hmm. you can use cranberries. Okay. Um, any, just like the fruit gives it a little bit of sweetness yes. with, the, with the saltiness. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what that's for. So once it gets kind of nicely toasted and toasty, um, you can smell like three to four minutes is all it all takes. Right. Yeah. And at that point, um, the water, it is one and a half cup of water. Now, normally quinoa takes, uh, one cup of quinoa would take two cups of water. Mm -hmm. For some reason in this dish, one and a half cup works. You can hear the seasoning. have season. a lot of moisture from the other vegetables that That's went correct. in there. Yeah. And then the salt goes in there. Next. So at this point, you just want to incorporate everything and okay. make sure it kind of comes to a, a, a simmer boil. or okay. a boil. 
And at that point, you would just put the, the lid on and let it cook for 15 minutes and then add the and rest of the stuff. And do we leave the, the heat on underneath it or do we turn um, it off? Uh, no, you can keep it down. And so because of the television, we have magic, right? Right. We do have Come magic. On. You heard about the magic. magic. <laughs> we wave our magic so, wand. <laughs> so just, just, yeah, we're going to show you the <laughs> final product. We're just going to put everything that goes in there. So this is so, uh, carrots Pretend and peas. we've passed 15 minutes. That's right. Now, if you're making, you mentioned that this really started out as a breakfast dish. It did. Yes. So if you were making this as a breakfast dish, would mm -hmm. you put peas and carrots in it? Um, you could because I think, uh, but if you don't like peas and carrots, in India they don't put any vegetables mm. okay. whatsoever. Yeah, it's, um, it's, this is how they eat it. But my children were young, when they were young, they really liked this dish and they were, I was serving them for, for lunch. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, how do I bump up the, the, you know, because there's not vegetable in there and they don't right. like vegetable by itself. My daughter didn't like carrot um, in, in, in chunks like this, mm -hmm. so I shredded the carrots, I put them in there, there just anything to disguise mm -hmm. any kind of... A lot of disguising going on in this cookbook, So the children, the children can, can eat that, so um, yeah, the, I, the peas and carrots are not traditional okay. in, for the breakfast thing, but I also serve this as a side dish and also as a stuffing, so... Mm -hmm. So this is oh, why right. I add the... the so as you mentioned, as a mm -hmm. breakfast, would this be like a like an oatmeal type dish that we're yes, looking at? Yes, it's called the Indian porridge. Indian porridge. That's what we call okay. it. And it, because it's done with the cream of wheat, it, it does look like a porridge. Okay. And cream sure. of wheat is, is a, a breakfast it is mm -hmm. cereal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, but I think when I looked at the nutritional value of the uh, cream of wheat versus quinoa, there's like there's no comparison. No, right. there is no right. um, comparison. So yeah, I, I think that, and it works really, really well. It has the same texture because when the quinoa is cooked, it looks beautiful white. It is because it, it it opens up and it, it, it's um, it's a delicious looking dish as well. So at this point, once once this part is done, then you just put a um, a teaspoon of sugar in there that goes in there and uh, fresh lemon juice so it's gonna put that. normally at home uh, once it's cooked you fluff it up and then you add the sugar and the, okay and the lemon and then you fluff it up again so we just want people to see how all these different um, uh, different stages work All right. in here. So while that's cooking, um, we are going to stuff peppers with the quinoa today. All right. And um, because it's it's a it's a lovely looking dish, it also makes an amazing side dish. So to show you how the the pepper is stuffed, we're just gonna go here. Hopefully it will work. Oh, yes. Very nice. It did. <laughs> and you just take the. Just like the, the middle part out, yeah. This cork just kind of comes out and just kind of clean it out a little bit. You make a mess, it's even better. Oh yes, but this is why I'm here. <laughs> I get my children involved in this because they like stuffing things. <laughs> <laughs> and it's kind of a fun project for them. Mm -hmm. you know? Meaning how old are your children? Well, they're much older now. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are adults, uh, oh, cool. as, as a matter of fact. But I, I have um, seven grandchildren, wow. and they range in age, age from, uh, I don't know, two years to 14 years. Wow. <laughs> okay, so are we ready for our so, Magic of Television finished product? I believe we are. So what we're going to do is take the, uh, the finished product out here, and we're going to... Ta-da! Ta-da! See how pretty that looks? It is beautiful. You just kind of fluff that up, and I believe it's warmed up. It probably doesn't need any more heat. Oh, okay. look at that. So th that, doesn't that look does. nice? So what we do is, at this point, you just add a... A little bit of coconut. Coconut. And... A lot of fresh interesting flavors going on in here. There are, yeah. I, yeah, you know, I'm looking at that without the, the peas and the carrots. Just alone, I can see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. you know, like without oatmeal, it, it like, looks like an oatmeal. Like a breakfast oatmeal. Yeah, Would you put milk in there like we do sometimes with oatmeal? Um, you could. You could. I've just never done it. Right. Because uh, it's a savory breakfast rather than a sweet breakfast. Okay. So you just kind of stuff this up, um, just like so. And um, if you can pass me the... Oh, here's your sheet. Okay. Oh, little sheet? Perfect. Okay. We have a sheet, right? Here. All right, so 
the peppers. It's a little bit of overkill for one pepper. <laughs> You're probably not going to be making only one pepper. No. No, it's going to be breakfast and the leftover. By the way, you know, you can, if you have a leftover quinoa, mm -hmm. you can do just the first steps of what we did, just frying the onions and the dolls and everything else. Mm -hmm. Just throw in your cooked quinoa okay. uh, and you can use it up. So this goes in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes All right. and softens it up. And then I believe we have one already prepared in and there. This will save for maybe a couple of mornings? This will save, uh, actually you can keep this in the fridge up to a week, Okay. one week. It has an amazing uh, shelf life. So mm -hmm. that's what's amazing about that. So when they come out, they're like nicely softened up. This really is magic. Is we put two in and three came out. Right. Isn't that amazing? I, I don't mean, know how that works. Things we do, the, 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 the magic that we have, it's in, incredible around here. It's delicious. Okay. So what we're going to do is just put one in there. And then um, if you can do hand one. me that dish there. So we're just going to... Pretty. Isn't this pretty? Isn't that pretty? Yeah. This is a beautiful dish. So we serve this with a little bit of uh, Greek yogurt. Okay. Can and those some. Back, please? Oh. Yeah. Oh, here we are. Here we are. Oh. I set them down. Okay. So we're just going to put, first we're going to put the quinoa in on, on this side here. Here we are. Okay. Here we go. Wow. I'm excited to taste this. Mm -hmm. Oh. And if you set a timer on it, we're you know, still within 20. Children are not easy to please, and my kids love this. So I know it's going to be a winner with the kids. Mm -hmm. And you know that you're feeding them something amazing, right. right? And so one of the peppers will go on the side there. And we're just going to garnish yeah. this. Yeah, right there. We're just going to garnish this again with a little bit of cilantro. And... Coconut, a little bit more coconut. It just beautiful colors on that, mm -hmm. right? And what I do with the peppers sometimes, I just kind of sprinkle a little bit of paprika on the top. It just kind of gives it a nice little. It's oh, a sweet it's paprika. Like, sweet paprika. This is the earrings on the outfit. Yes, well, just, right. there you go. These presentations exactly. we come up with after these viewers. There we go. Is this ready? It's ready to go. It's ready. It's All right, here we go. Mark, you loaded your fork. Quinoa upna. And we're going to put some here for you to try right. to you. And, uh, and I got a fork and a knife oh, over you there <laughs> for you to cut this. Uh, yeah, it's um, pepper needs a... Uh, I'm going to need one or two of these. All right. All right. Taste away. Here we go. Proof is in the pudding, as they say. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Come out of there. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You the work right here. Right here. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. Hmm? It's light. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to think back when I was eight years old, <laughs> and Mom threw this in a bowl for me at breakfast time. Without keys and pe the peas and carrots, I'm like, okay, this looks like it'd be something fun. And now, as a yes. lunch dish, as an appetizer, as a, mm -hmm. as a dinner, yeah, this is going to be a big hit. Yes. And it's so good for you. I mean, I, this will be a so big many hit. good things you put into that, yeah. my friend here, with the, the things that we need to eat. We need to eat better for our health. And mm -hmm. You can do it. Highly nutritious. Dish. Highly nutritious. Within 20 yeah. minutes, you set the timer on that one. Yeah, for sure. And, and every day recipe here for Mina. Yeah. And our beautiful friends at Kelowna, B.C., thank you for sharing and being big fans of the show. Now, can you get on the phone? and support all this great cooking here. That's how it works here at KZTS 9 Cooks by calling 1-800-443-1999. Our website, whenever you have time, at uh, your convenience, is kzts9.org. Uh, exciting, amazing yeah. how it all comes together and Simple. what a picture. Simple. What a picture. Get Perfect the book and the DVD. Yeah. You're going to want it so you can make <laughs> Don't be intimidated by Indian food. It's simple. No, and, and more of us are trying to figure out, exactly. like experiment, try something different. And this, yeah. this is a different recipe. It's one of 400 in the cookbook. So mm -hmm. yeah, good cooking. It starts here. It starts with you too and supporting it. So thank you. Make the phone call.